What's going on guys? Today we're doing St. Valentine's Day vlog and let's be friends. <laughs> <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna get a kick out of that. Happy Valentine's Day guys. I just crawled out of my bird cage, hamster cage, whatever you may have it. It's pretty late. It's about 11.30 in the morning. Uh, didn't have to set an alarm because I don't really have much to do today. Uh, just gonna answer some emails as usual. I have a couple consultations. Uh, then we're gonna go to the gym. And then we're gonna go down to Manhattan later to hang out. And of course we gotta get some meals in because we're doing the bodybuilding stuff. Uh, so real quick right now, I'm just gonna check my emails and then obviously I'm gonna take out my retainer. And then I'm gonna go down to the kitchen and we're gonna have our first meal. Nice and simple meal this morning. I'm gonna have some filet mignon beef tenderloin and some raw grass fed cream. This is actually buffalo cream. That's why it's so white. Uh, just a little bit of salt on this, and I'm going to add some uh, vanilla powder, a little bit of honey, and I actually have some supplements here. I'm going to take two, but I'll talk to you guys about those in a different video. Uh, so every time I come down here, first thing I do is I get my grill heated up. Uh, recently, with my birthday present of a broiler, I've been using the broiler, and it's about 40 degrees outside today. I think it's not too cold. But the problem is whenever it's windy or raining, I can't use this. But since it's kind of nice out today, we could use it. So while that's warming up, I'll get this ready. This is my uh, cute little Mr. Clean outfit, my white long johns. So for the cream, I'm just gonna put a little bit of vanilla powder. I get this stuff at Whole Foods. It's pretty expensive. It's like $25 for this little jar, but it, it goes a long way. Usually lasts like, like a month or two. And this is my favorite honey. Um, we're going to the Asiago. A bit more than this, like usually like a tablespoon or two of honey in this. And I usually like adding a pinch of salt. Sometimes I don't. Like today I don't really feel like the salt in the, in the cream and the, with the honey and the vanilla. Although it usually brings out the flavor a bit. I usually leave the spoon in the honey, so I don't have to keep cleaning the same spoon. And there we have it. Pretty much vanilla ice cream. This cream is really, really thick. I don't know if it's like the breed of the animal or what they're feeding it, but I almost like it to be a little runnier. Next time I'll buy the light cream instead of the heavy cream. The world's warmed up a bit, so I'll put the steaks in. You guys used to see me use the other grill with the wood fire all the time, but this is just so much quicker, it's easier. I don't have to chop wood, I don't have to wait, you know, 10, 15 minutes to warm it up. Flavor is not as good as the wood fire, obviously, but it's definitely better than a pan sear. All right, let's flip these over. Oh, cooked them a little too long this time. What's really nice about this is you get this really deep brown crust even on leaner pieces of meat, which is something that I can't even do with the wood fire. So this is typical of most days. You know, I'll wake up around, you know, between nine and 11 in the morning, spend like half an hour, an hour preparing my meals for the day. Uh, I'll answer the emails on the computer. Sometimes I'll have consultations, sometimes I don't. Today I have two. Days I don't have consultations, I usually work on my side projects, my other businesses, research for videos. Maybe I'll even just have a little bit of fun and just watch random YouTube videos. Most days I do have live streams and I do have to film other videos. So the nice thing about today is since I don't have a live stream and this vlog is being filmed tomorrow, I have more free time. That being said, that free time is going to be used going down to Manhattan later have a little bit of fun. Uh, since I only have to go down to Frankie's free range meat like one or two days a week, um, you know, it's not too much stress anymore. Uh, you know, the past few months before this, I was going down there like two, three times a week helping out more. Uh, but now since we have our first employee and things are up and running a little bit better, I can spend my time on other stuff. And soon enough, hopefully the, uh, the business is up and running on its own. Uh, we're gonna have our plate of filet mignon and the raw cream. Uh, you know, it's all grass-fed. Uh, obviously, you know, the cream is raw grass-fed too. 
A nice nutrient balance. I have the filet mignon that I chew really well. It's easily digestible protein. And the raw cream is just nice because it's really palatable and, you know, when I eat the steaks, after the steaks, I'm not gonna be that hungry. But since, you know, you have honey and vanilla in the cream, it's gonna be really tasty. So on the filet, not too much salt, just enough to balance the natural potassium ratio in the meat. Generally, you want like a one-to-one -one sodium to potassium ratio. And since meat has, you know, 1,400 milligrams of potassium per pound, you only really need like a pinch or two of salt. So I cook the filet a bit more than I normally do because it was sitting out of room temperature. Usually I cook it when it's cold. Now something that I usually forget to do or I usually try to do is like really chew the food well, take smaller bites. Helps prevent overeating, you digest it better. In regards to my supplements, what I like doing is I eat about half of my meal and then I take the supplements so that I'm not taking them on an empty stomach. You know, because if I'm taking like a copper supplement, I don't want it to just hit my stomach and then my body will get like sick from a high concentration of copper. That way, you know, I'm halfway into the meal, the supplement kind of breaks open and mixes in with the food. I don't really like filet for its flavor especially, but it's really easy to chew. And doing this bodybuilding stuff, it's just like, it goes down so much easier. You guys like my Aladdin hair? I'm just about done with the meal. I'm gonna go take my supplements real quick. So I feel kind of full today. It's probably because I ate last night and normally I don't eat that late. I'm sure if I had like a bite of this vanilla honey cream that I would eat the whole bowl. But one thing I've been trying to really focus on and, and explain to people as well is don't overeat. Eat as much as you're comfortably eating. You know, you'll feel good, work out, burn the calories off, you'll build up muscle. The only thing you're gonna do by overeating is excreting more waste, impair your digestion, stress your digestive enzymes. So, you know, a lot of people are obsessed with, oh, I gotta eat, I'm a bodybuilder, oh, I gotta eat, I'm a bodybuilder. Of course, it's important to eat enough and, you know, to eat till you're full, but there's no point to eating till you're a stuffed pig. So, uh, I'm gonna go upstairs, I have a couple hours of consultations to do. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and then, Afterwards, we'll probably head out to the gym and then it'll be time to go down to Manhattan by then. So depending on whether I have a video or audio consultation will dictate if I need to dress up or not. Uh, today, I'm just doing audio consultations so I don't have to. Uh, for those of you guys that haven't consulted with me, of course, diet is the main focus, but I do break it down into you know a couple of other things. What does the person need to supplement? Uh, what's their sun exposure, exercise, and a bunch of other lifestyle factors. I really love doing this. I really love helping people. That being said, I spend way too much time in front of my computer every day between you know consultations, editing videos, managing emails. I mean, that's why I have a standing desk. That's why um, you know, I have like the, the yellow screen, the light reduction on the screen. So I am taking as many precautions as possible to attempt to live a healthy lifestyle despite you know being on the computer for six, seven, eight, nine hours a day. Just wrapped up those consultations. It's about 4.30 and I'm just like, I was just like so zoned out and tired after standing in that hot room in front of the computer for two and a half hours, but uh, I mean, I just stepped outside. I feel a lot better with the fresh air. I uh, got my gym outfit on, just gray sweats, and uh, we're going to head over. It is 4.30, and I'm supposed to be in the city at 6.30, so I'm going to have to uh, to really do this workout quickly, because then I got to come back, get dressed up, drive down to Manhattan, so, oh, you know? I keep talking about my car, so let me show you guys. So this is the uh, legendary Ford Taurus with this new snow tires that I've only used once because it's only snowed once this year. I will show you guys the dents on the door, but uh, this is a commercial vehicle, so I have like I have the address and lettering on the side of the doors. And there's a dent there, you know, a couple scratches on the side. But yeah, over, overall the car's in pretty good shape because it only had um, the car only had you know, 30,000 miles when I bought it. Outside of the scratches from getting in accidents and uh, driving in Manhattan, it's um it's in decent shape. Uh, there was actually a dent on the hood that I, I popped out because some kid jumped on the car, but only like 70,000 miles now and the car is 2001. So, you know, it should last a couple more years. Sometimes when I go to the gym, I'll also go tanning, but today, since I don't really feel well, since I have 
a uh, bit of a headache. I'm gonna skip the tanning bed, mainly because you know the fields in the bed, you know, are a little stressful. It can cause a headache and make things worse. Uh, and and with the time constituent that we have today, you know, we're probably gonna be late. So I don't really have an extra 10, 15 minutes to go to the tanning salon. So I used to have a membership at this dump in the Bronx that I used to work out at. And there was also another location up in uh, Westchester that uh, worked. So, you know, regardless of whether I was by my parents' house or at my apartment, I was able to work out. But they just built this new gym uh, that's much closer to my parents' house. It's a lot more expensive per month, but, you know, it's clean. The equipment's always working. And then there's, like, another gym I can go to, which is, like, half an hour away that has more, like, chest training equipment. So in regards to like my new high volume bodybuilding routine, it's uh it's a lot more effective, it's a lot more efficient. And guys, I came here last night at like 9:30, 10 at night, and I was the only person in the gym. So I get through the workout quick. I can use whatever equipment I want, you know, everything's super clean. Can't really ask for more in a gym. And you know, it is expensive, but since I come here literally every single day, I mean the amount of time I'm spending in the gym, you know, who cares if I'm paying, you know, over $100 a month. So, uh, we're going to work out. Uh, just, you know, the body, same bodybuilding routine I've been doing that I will show you guys in like a month and a half, two months uh, when I do my routine video. But all I bring into the gym is just my keys. Sometimes I have my iPod. I don't have it today. I forgot to charge it. And then the headphones usually get in the way sometimes. So, uh, I usually like working out without it, but the music does help. Uh, get through the workout and I'm just gonna bring like a glass bottled water uh, I was doing raw milk at the gym earlier but uh, n dairy um, the sugar wasn't working so well maybe maybe we'll try the the dairy again in the summer when we're getting more Sun and the nutrient synergy is a little better but it's, it's nice up here you know it's like a little bit of a, a little bit of an escape from Manhattan the city every day and you know after being up here I don't think I I would ever want to actually live in the city again. I'd rather just commute up here. This workout reminded me why I originally quit bodybuilding. I walked in the gym. I looked at that dumbbell rack. I said, what a waste of my time this is. I don't even want to walk in here, let alone do an hour workout. But we got through it. Hopefully this bodybuilding stuff pays off. You know, I have, you know, eight, nine years of knowledge that I never really put to use or, you know, made anything out of. And even though I feel like such crap eating all this food, especially with the iron overload, you know, hopefully a few months this pays off. And maybe I do the fitness stuff long term, maybe I don't. That being said, it is already 5.30. I'm going to be late to the city, maybe 10, 15 minutes late. So uh, let, let me run over and head down there. It's about 5.40. I got dressed really quick. I uh, don't want to keep this girl waiting too long, although I'm probably going to be late. You know, it's going to take an hour, hour and 15 minutes to get down to the city. Uh, I did want to show you guys my closet one day, but... I guess it's not gonna be today. So let's head down there. Looks like the drive in general is gonna be around an hour and five minutes. So we'll be about 15 minutes late. I told her so it should be okay. Uh, this reminds me, I used to bartend at this restaurant on the Lower East Side for a couple months. And uh, you know, I was always driving down there every night at like five, six o'clock. Traffic isn't usually that bad, you know, when you're heading down to the city against, uh, you know, cause everyone's leaving the city, out, getting out of work and you're going into the city to work, so. A little bit of deja vu. You know guys, I'm always so exhausted by the time I actually get down to the city with this drive that I don't feel like going out. Like it's only 6.40 and we're like in the city. We're just, you know, a few minutes away from the destination. But I'm already pooped, man. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to have enthusiasm? Because everyone in the city is probably coked out of their minds. So I don't think this girl knows what I look like because I was introduced to a friend. I mean, she might have looked me up, so I kind of I kind of want to get her reaction to seeing me, but we'll see. Where the fuck is this place? Hey, what's going on? How are you? You, you? you invited me to the pink restaurant. Yes. Have you been there before? I have. And, and what, what, what is the typical reaction for other people going in there? Um, I think everyone thinks it's cute. Everyone thinks it's cute? Doesn't even So, I walked in there, I went in there once. I've actually been there before, and I walked straight back out. You were terrified. I was completely terrified. Run away. It was funny, but. This is the restaurant. We're getting you probably sashimi and sushi. I usually just stick to fish. I'll let you guys know. So the young lady did not disclose that she was vegan. You didn't do your research. 
I, I did, I just didn't tell you about it. You didn't tell me. Yes. So, so you are vegan? Yes, but not ideologically. Are you willing to eat fish? Today? Today I'm willing to eat fish. You're willing to eat fish. <laughs> so how long have you been vegan? Mm, since the day I was born. <laughs> what do you mean? Weren't you were you vegetable? I I just never liked it. Are, do you, I mean did you eat eggs or dairy? Or? No 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 never. Nothing. Yeah. Vegan. Yes. No fish. No 100%. meat. No eggs. No dairy. Yes. And it, it, uh, mm, not with my free will. I'm confused. Was I set up? I don't know, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. That's funny. Okay, you need to swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Do you swear? I swear. Okay, I'm so a you're, you're a vegan. Why are you a vegan? Uh, that was the decision of my body, not my mind. I. You just don't like me. I just don't like it. Doesn't sit well with you. It, it just doesn't look attractive enough to put it in my mouth. What? I mean, do you have brothers or sisters? Do they eat meat? Are they vegetarian? Yes, everybody eats so much meat. I. I can't even imagine how this happened to me. Put it in my mouth. Oh my god, wow. She doesn't she doesn't want to taste? Does she want to taste part of a fish? <laughs> it makes me even more scared that it's just a part of a fish and I can't recognize it. Wow. This is insane. Oh my god, no. <laughs> yeah, just take a little taste. You can always spit it out. Oh Look, you have a plate, you can spit it out. <laughs> it's fine. Well, that's a good... I, you show me eat a piece, right? I eat a piece. Oh my god, wow. Take, take a small piece. That, that's a small piece. That's not a small piece. That's well, it looks small. Well, yeah, it doesn't look that small on camera, you're right. But it is a small piece. But that, that's not even a piece. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I feel I feel like it's Take moving. It's it. moving. That, I'm I'm sure it's moving. Oh my God, no! <laughs> <laughs> Was it changed since like it what they caught it from the ocean? What fish are you willing to try? What fish are you willing to try? The one that was cooked. So like this, this is the skipjack. It's seared a little bit on the outside, but the young lady does not like raw fish. No raw fish. How's the uh, how's the avocado and rice? Oh, fantastic. Much Is it fantastic with or without the soy sauce? It's much better than uh, what you had. But you, you, you'll never know because you never tried it. Okay, the young lady said she will try the, the, the fish eggs. So this is... Well, this is obviously the salmon roll. One of these is Masago, one of these is Tabiko. So which one do you want to try? These are a lot smaller. Well, let's start with the big one. That's the salmon roll. Living on the edge. This is more, more this is more DHA than she's had in like 10 years. Wow. I thought this burst of... Um, burst of cholesterol going straight to your brain? Yeah, exactly. You got it right. <laughs> But I'm not gonna stop, okay? I'm gonna. I want more. It's like a tiny fish egg. Yeah, they're so tiny. Wow, I didn't know. I underestimated their size. And what is this? Uh, that's a different type of fish egg. Same thing. It's probably seasoned a little differently. In public. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm changing. I start changing my um, views on a diet after this. It's real little fish eggs. <laughs> converting, converting one vegan at a time. Now she's gonna go for the lettuce stuff. Uh oh. Back to normal. <laughs> so she said she would try some cooked fish. I know. She said she would try some cooked fish and we got the, the soy marinated cod. And I think she's gonna make me eat it all myself because she's probably not gonna want to try it. You have that filling? <laughs> what was that? You have that filling what that I'm just filling? gonna... <laughs> you know oh, yeah. that I'm not gonna eat it. What? You just know that I'm not gonna eat it. I had a feeling you weren't. <laughs> but you did try the salmon roll. Okay, look, I am an adventurous person. Well, a skating cod isn't too adventurous. And I'm, I'm ready to embrace this fish right now. That's really good. She doesn't like it. She definitely doesn't like it. 
Yeah. No, what are you talking about? It was, there well, was um, I like it tastes different from you know, what I usually eat. You're unusually good at using chopsticks for someone that doesn't eat fish. Hmm, you think I was lying to you this whole time? <laughs> and I just been <laughs> it's eating. It's possible. <laughs> so the truth has come out. She gets the majority of her calories from the milk in her coffee. How many coffees do you have every day? Too many coffees a day. <laughs> what, we need a number from 6 to 15. From 6, is that the only uh, I, I number out? I don't think it's lower than 6. <laughs> yeah, it's not lower than 6. Oh my god. That's a lot of milk. And a lot of coffee. <laughs> no, both. You have to sacrifice something. But what's your, what's your what's your drink you order when you go to a cafe? Uh, coffee with milk, uh, espresso, latte. No, I just have black coffee. Black coffee, and you put some milk in it. Sometimes I just drink it black, or I sometimes I actually sometimes I like to order a lot of espressos. I think I once ordered six shots of espresso. So you some only sometimes you have milk in it. Only when I you I'm in the six mood. Shots of espresso. Yeah. Guys, I can't make this up. My adrenals hurt just thinking about that much coffee. You were like, you were so averse to order anything, and then as soon as you start talking about coffee, your eyes light up. <laughs> about the no drip coffee. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> That's the only thing I care about, the quality of my coffee. Food could be anything. How many espressos did you have today already? Today I had five. I was about to get the sixth one, but they just didn't have it. What do you have, like an Italian espresso machine at your house? Of course, yes. I even remember, no, I, I forgot the, um, name of the inventor <laughs> but he was Italian. Well, well, did you only have six espressos or did you have coffee too? No, I just had like five espressos. No water, nothing, just you know pure oh energy God. in them. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen my coffee video or Paul Check's coffee video, you definitely need to check it out. I make fun of you guys having like one or two cups of coffee a day, but this is like this is what happens long term. Mm. Alright guys we just had the sashimi and uh Little Miss Goody Two Shoes Vegan did not want to have, well she had a little bit of fish, so maybe the DHA will activate in her brain later, uh, but what did you think of the restaurant? I eat cucumbers from your plate. Well, she, well, yeah, that, that's what she had. So, uh, as many of you guys know, I'm a big fan of blood flow restriction training, so we're going to go do some of that right now, but I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, if you guys could please like the video, subscribe. Definitely hit that bell icon and share the video if you can. If you guys want to support me further, check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Naturals, as well as frank-definal.com for one-on-one health consultations. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend.